We pulling into loves to calm the nerves. Yes, sir. We ain't getting no fuel or nothing because we got plenty. Apparently too much damn fuel. So, but we pulling into loves real quick. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. We're back again. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Yes, sir, if you don't know, Chasing Mr. Hamilton is the name, Trucking is the game. Wallet that gets roll is the goal. The wallet that gets roll is the goal. With a heart of a liar mentality for how he now. We stay the rolling wild, because we don't get tired. We get money, you too. Ah. We got a situation that I end last video with. I end the last video with that situation. So now, now that's the situation we got to worry about now, you two. But first, first, good news. I found a way. I found a way to keep that from sliding, kind of. Not all the way, but a little bit, right? Because you can still see, right? Dust. So. My problem was, it kept sinking in every time I drive, because the roads are bumpy. But yours came up with a solution, because every time I had to push it out so the tape can grab it, I had to put my hand in and push it. Here's my solution, ladies and gentlemen, because you might be able to, to benefit up of this. Look, y'all ready? Yeah, yeah that, that's right, that's right, that's right. So the pressure, it's not being put together by a freaking Gatorade bottle. And so far, I drove from Houston all the way here on I-10. Y'all know how bumpy I-10 is. I woke up this morning expecting it to be sunk in. Right now, it's still solid. So that's the goal, and let's hope that works, man. Otherwise, we just stop right here to watch the windshield a little bit. I ain't getting no more gas, cause you know the problem we have. You know the problem we have. Uh, if you don't, then you didn't watch the last video, but if you did, let me go over with it for you, right? So, I got loaded. In Channel View, that's right. Channel View, Texas. I got loaded in Channel View. I drove all the way to Beaumont to the petrol. I got some fuel, then I hit the scale. I was 81,300 pounds. 81,300 pounds. If I'm lying, I'm dying, you two. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm gonna have to show y'all, you too. I'm gonna have to show y'all. But it is not a lie, it's a fact. So, yeah, that is what we're doing. So far, I've already survived three scales because I went by home at like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, right? So today, the one that has been troubling me from the time I found out I was overweight is the Mississippi scale. There's a scale in freaking Mississippi right before you get into Alabama. That scale is the one I'm scared of. Because that scale somehow always get me in Mississippi. I don't know why, but it always get me. So yeah, that's the one I'm scared of. So we're gonna go ahead and get something for the nerves, AKA something to drink, some Gatorade or just some ice. I ain't decided yet. Probably just some ice, y'all. Probably just some ice. Yeah. So y'all ain't got no ice out here? Whoa, 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 all right. No ice. So never mind, the nerve's gonna have to stay 
so we get closer down the road, spend the night at the Notorious Petro by Harmon, Louisiana. But yes, sir. Anyways, you too. Bad boy holding up. That's all that matters now. That get red bottle. If, if, if any of y'all, look at me, any of y'all ever go through this now, and, and, and the lights keep sinking in, you know you know what the kid showed you, man. You know what the kid showed you. Dog tape and some Gatorade behind that mofo won't handle the business. Yes, sir. So that's what it is. Anyways, I'm hoping by the time we get to freaking Mississippi, I'm hoping that scale is closed. For real. I'm, I hope that scale is closed. If not, uh, I may have to keep full uh I may have to pull a rig blood. Speed I'm speeding. Yeah, yeah, I may have to pull that, man. I may have to pull that because damn the 81 3. As a matter of fact, a lot of people probably think I'm talking nonsense. Let me. Before we roll out here, let me find. Let me show it to y'all. In broad daylight. The first, this was the first, I don't know where the second piece of paper is, but this is the first time when I scanned it, y'all. Nigga, that ain't it. What the fuck am I doing? That ain't it. Sorry, sorry. That was the previous one. What the hell? Hold on, hold on. I forgot that the kid actually be scaling some loads now for some damn reason. I used to not scale loads at all. But recently I started scaling. All right, here we go. Here we go. I put them up. Here we go. I used to not scale loads at all, but you know, we, we, we are here trying to be safe now. We are here trying to be safe. So I can, here we go, here we go. There we go. Date 10-7. There you go. So that's how it was the first way, right? I tried to balance it out, which it would have been solid if the law was legal, and then I balanced it out to that. But overweight is overweight, so yeah. There's no magical, there's no magical skill I can pull out here that's gonna make uh, the weight balance even, but I may have an idea. I think the more I drive, the less fuel I have in my tank, the weight gonna go down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, because I did those on, on the full tank, so 180, 90, 200 gallons, whatever. I know that had a major impact because fuel weighs like seven to nine pounds a gallon. Multiply that by 200. So yeah, yeah. So there you go. There you go. Um, that might have been the problem. And right now, I I was able to burn off a quarter. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget now. Don't forget if you ever worrying about the the specialist. That man has got me getting, I'm out here getting like 10,000 miles to a gallon of DEF now. Now, now I, know, I know some of y'all wondering, how do you do that? How are you able to get 10,000 miles to a gallon of DEF? That is the question. All you got to do is hit me up on Snapchat or email me. Ask for the specialist. We're going to talk a little talk because if you want to see, it be for the fee, you know, for the free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, because... One thing I've learned is the game is sold, not told, but I usually get free game, right? But people are not act, going to act on free information. They're not. They're not. When people get free stuff, they're going to hear it and go out the other ear. They may or may not act on it. But when you pay, it means you're serious. It means you need to get done. So that's what it is. I know some of y'all, a whole lot of people ask, whine and crap, but that's just how it is. I'm sorry. I don't need the money or nothing. But the principle is if you actually pay, that means you're going to go see the specialist. If I just put it on a video for free, some of y'all going to see it, and you're still going to be driving around with a regular setup on the DEF, you ain't going to see the specialist. Anyways, we're rolling now, ladies and gentlemen. I will see y'all down the road. Down the road. Pray that this damn weight scale in Mississippi is closed. 
Otherwise, we might have to use all this 500 horsepower. <laughs> Fifteen hundred plus talk, damn it, boy, because we are gonna be rolling. That's all I'm saying. I can't say more than that. We're gonna be rolling. The road bandit is pretty much what we're gonna be the rest of this trip. All right, you two, we there we go. We 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 almost there. <laughs> Welcome to Mississippi, baby. This right here is uh, what's gonna break it, man. Break it or make it, damn it, but we here. Um, I don't know. I think the truck stop is a little bit farther down the line. I like 40, 50 miles in. I mean, the, the way station that I'm trying to dodge. Or oh, it might be right here. I don't know yet. I don't know, but I know it's, uh, whoo, yeah. This one, they always get me. I know it's coming. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to switch lane. That's all I can say. I'm about to switch lane over there. It's hammer time, baby. It's hammer time. I will let y'all know if I get pulled in or not. But it's about to be hammer time because we're in Mississippi. We ain't taking no chances at all. Well, YouTube, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming, YouTube. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here right up now. Yeah. I had switch lane, but I had to come back because people behind me out here act like they're about to die and all this, man. Uh, if y'all can listen to my heartbeat, man, you will. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what it's about. Woo! Make it and break it, baby. Make it and break it. I will let y'all know. Let me put this phone down. I'll let y'all know. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Don't tell me how, but we made it past the first uh, way station. So they got two, right? One coming in. <laughs> one coming into Mississippi. And then there's an old raggedy ass one going out of Mississippi, the Alabama. But we made it past. We made it past the one coming in. Bro, the heartbeat, I'm sweating, and, and I'm in the freaking truck right now. I'm in the truck. I'm out here damn near sweating, right? My nerves, bro. We pulling into loves to calm the nerves. Yes, sir. We ain't getting no fuel or nothing because we got plenty. Apparently too much damn fuel. So, but we pulling into loves real quick. Get something cool to get some ice because freaking petrol didn't have no damn ice. Anyways, that's what we're doing. I'll be back. We're gonna keep you all posted, you two. We're gonna keep you all posted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are dead before. All right, you two. This right here is the bastard I was talking about right here. That's the one that always get me, you two. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> tell y'all how this one goes, you two. I tell y'all how this one goes. And, uh, yeah, it cannot be on camera, ladies and gentlemen. 